All right, what up, people? It's your boy Chig from Unit Eagle Eye coming to you again with a brand new video. Uh, this time is to talk about Eagle Eye, my transfer rumor show. So I'm going to be talking about a lot of transfers and just general stories to do with the club and to do with transfers, in all honesty. Um, and I recognize I've not brought this show to you often enough, quite frankly, because there ain't a lot of freaking stories about, you know. Um, the manager coming out and fair play to him was very honest, but kind of torpedoing any idea of there being stories by just saying straight up, we didn't have money. Uh, we were relying on loan deals. Uh, so don't expect anything spectacular. Um, so let's talk about one of the stories that's been go ongoing since the window opened and that's Dennis Suarez. It's not really a signing that's gotten a lot of people very exciting, excited, and the prospect of him. 25 years old, former uh, Manchester City, um, and obviously current Barcelona player. Um, 25 years old. Uh, from what I can tell, he's basically a central midfielder who has the capability of playing out in the wing. I don't, to me, I don't, you know, even, even watching his YouTube highlights, right? He doesn't look like, to me, what I would call a natural dynamic winger. He looks like more of a midfielder who happens to be on the left si left-hand side. Decent enough player. Um, of all the positions that we perhaps require a player, I would not necessarily say he's one we need. <laughs> i got to admit, if we're going to make a loan signing, I'm not sure why it's this guy. Um, but we are where we are. We... It is what it is, um, and he is a signing. He's at least something different to the team. I'm always a fan of bringing something different to the team, um, even if it is probably he's, he's, the, he's the sort of player I guess that Emre trusts, um, and that will be the theme of this of this whole video. Really, things that Emre trusts, um, because if it ain't a Meza Urzel, who he clearly doesn't. He's going to bring in players who he does. And whether we think he, he is quality or not, um, he clearly rates Dennis Suarez. So, so let's see. I've got an open mind to it. He's 25 years old. Sometimes certain players don't suit certain leagues. I understand he was with us in the Premier League before, but he was also in a Man City, Manchester City squad where, let's face it, you got to be special, special and be worth eight figures to get into, to get into even consideration for that for that starting lineup. So, um, I, I don't know. Alone can't help. I'm a bit worried about this. We're obliged to buy him stuff. I don't like that. <laughs> I want I want to loan him, see what he's about, and then for us to make an informed decision afterwards. Um, man, I can't believe we're even discussing loans the way we're discussing it. I, I guess from most people's point of view, we're just hoping this is not a Kim Kallstrom situation. Um, it does feel like it. I've I got to admit, it does feel like it. Uh, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. If he doesn't have a broken leg um, before his first game, it's, it's pr already progress. So let's see. Uh, supposedly, uh, Barcelona are obviously closer to getting that deal over the line now because um, out of nowhere, it seems, they signed Kevin prince Botan. I've got to be truthful, yo. I didn't even know my man was still playing. <laughs> I completely forgot. Because it seems like years ago that he was playing for Portsmouth. Like, it seems like years ago. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's been around a long time. Um, but they signed Kevin prince Botan yesterday. And um, which is a surprise deal, caught everybody off guard. But then the Barcelona manager then admitted that, you know, now that they've made that signing, one or two are probably going to have to leave. And you would think that was in reference to Dennis Suarez. So the player wants to come to us. Uh, the manager wants, to come, wants him to come to us. Um, it's just a case of Barcelona want to sell. Uh, we want a loan, and there's a lot of haggling over two things, really. 
the loan fee, and then what we're obliged to do and not to do at the end of the loan term. So, yeah, complicated stuff. It's always complicated when Arsenal are making a signing. So seemingly more so than any other uh, club uh, near us. But, hey, we are where we are. Um, and I, I suppose the only other story that uh, we're being linked with is obviously this main story about who replaces Fed Misnantat. So they came out yesterday uh, to confirm, as we suspected, that he was leaving. Um, he was leaving the club. Um Arsenal put out a 72-word statement thanking him for his efforts and how he's made a big impact in 14, 14 months. And he'll be leaving, I believe, in the first week of February, um, where presumably he'll move on to other projects. Um, projects being maybe bought by Munich. Um, supposedly Chelsea are very interested in him because they've never really replaced their uh, recruitment guy that they let go of in 2015. Remember reading that story? Um, but they're supposedly Arsenal aren't resting. They're, they're on to the next. Uh, and they found someone who is possibly seen as someone who could even top Sven Mislintat in terms of the way he finds talent and the way he is able to secure talent. Um, and that is, and I must, I must make sure I get this name right because I have a habit of butchering names. But he's got a one-word name. My man's basically Madonna <laughs> out here. But a uh, story in the Independent when this fucking thing finishes loading. Sorry, uh, Manucci, Man Monucci. Uh, is a uh, so we're looking to get him uh, to the 50 year old um, who um, with Roma uh, joined from Seville in April 2017. Obviously, the Seville link lets you know that uh, he had a good relationship with Emre uh, Seville, and obviously, you saw one for Seville. Um, so it seems like, given the fact that Emre has a two-year contract, which he is, what, six to nine months into already, um, they do seem to be building this, this, this whole infrastructure around Emre. I mean, Emre was said to be one of the main reasons why Sven was because Sven wasn't overlooked for the technical director role. Um, and I did remember seeing a story a long, long time ago it feels like a long time ago, maybe four or five months ago, that uh, Emre was, sorry, that uh, Sven was set for a promotion to a technical director. And that was during the period of time where everybody was suddenly being promoted. And there never was a promotion for, for Sven. You're like, oh, what happened? <laughs> I guess this is what happened. And supposedly him and Raul have a really fractious relationship. Raul is very much involved in the transfers, as is Emery, um, which um, surprises surprise Sven, um, and it made his position untenable. Um, but this is supposed to be one guy that they're going to bring in, not as a head of recruitment, but as someone who is going to be a technical director. So someone who currently does the role for Roma, um, he's only been there, like I said, for just over a year to 18 months. And um, they feel that he will make the difference. I'm all for it. For me, I, um, I know he's supposed to be the next special thing. My worry with the, with the whole Sven thing was, well, surely if we're trying to be prudent with money, then you need someone like Sven who's going to discover that these, these superstars before they become superstars before they become the guy. Um, so if we can get a, Mon a Monochi who by all intents and purposes is supposed to be just as good as Sven at doing such a job, if not better, I'm all for it. For me, I think that's a positive move because I can't see how Sven leaving is a, 
is is not a, a negative move. I think it is negative. Uh, I know a lot of people are shitting on Sven now, saying, oh, we don't need him anyway, <laughs> um, which is usually what Arsenal fans do when you leave the club. They always, it doesn't matter how good you are, they start talking about how shit all of a sudden you are because you're leaving the club. Hey -ho. But um, to me, I, I think getting someone like a, um, a Manucci is a positive move. So, yeah, for me, I'd be happy to get him on. Um, the other person that's supposed to be a rival to that is our current international head of international recruitment, who is also said to be very in control. Um, Francis Cagagio. Cagagio? Cagagio? Probably butchered the question. He's also said to be very interested in the role. He was initially overlooked for Sven Missile and Tap in 2017 um, and with of inter international recruitment at Arsenal um, but now as the Arsenal board on him as someone who could potentially come in as a sporting director notice there's different titles to these fuckers all of a sudden you've got technical director you would think they would do the same job most um but yeah um initially was overlooked for one of the senior roles but now he's being considered for it um so i do find that interesting at least it seems like arsenal have a battle plan um uh, minucci said to be the favorite to get the role um a lot of sources close to the club but seem to be quite confident that this deal can go through um so i do find that part very interesting so let's see what happens for me, I just want us to get our shit in order. I've written off this January transfer window, as I imagine a lot of you have. Very eagerly looking forward to what we do in the summer. So, very eagerly looking forward to that because, man, we need help. We need something. We need something to come through for us for once. And maybe this could be it. Other than that, that's about it, people. There's not really a lot else going on. Um, Unfortunately, Hector's Bellerin, Hector Bellerin's injury has been confirmed. Um, he's out for the year, uh, as we all suspected would happen. Um, damn shame. Don't expect a buy to come in. Um, arguably, because arguably one doesn't need to come in because we do have enough to limp on by. Um, we, you know, there are a lot of people that can play there. Um, Interestingly, I don't think Al Nene will go in January now. Um, I do suspect that Al Nene will probably go in um, in the summer. Reason being is I think if all else fails and say Lich Steiner gets injured, Aizen Metanars gets injured, Carl Jenkinson gets injured, I could see someone like an Al Nene playing that, as terrible as that would be. But we are where we are, people. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You guys let me know what you think. Uh, leave it in the comments below. Uh, if you like this video, crush, destroy, drop kick the shit out of that like button. I appreciate it when you guys do that. All right, people. Take care. And uh, peace.